Welcome back to the palace. This is your girl Shebe. And today I'm just going to do a random makeup look. Um, I was going to do an autism awareness makeup look, but I'm not for sure how I want to do it. So just stay tuned for that video because it's going on all month long. As y'all already know that I do work with people with disabilities. I've been doing it going on eight or nine years now so i mean i've been in the game pretty long and you know it's just something that i love to do so um i would like to do a fundraiser for the video i know they have um you know little things on the side of youtube that we can do you know for fundraiser i'm not for sure how it really goes but that'll be coming soon but i just want to bring awareness you know just talk about a little something something just because you know it's a random makeup vlog y'all i'm about to take these down because you know i told y'all that um uh, i washed my hair and everything like i washed the front part because i end up um take slacks in my edges so they would lay down because some girl they be curly but um this one right here this one in the back right here I'm trying to tell you, it was itching so bad that I had to take it out at work. And I don't ever be taking my hair out at work. You know, at least not at this new company. So I'm just like, shoot, you know, we got too much to do. But I took it out. And baby, when I tell you I was back there scratching because it was like a sense of relief. A sense of relief when I tell you. I literally was combing out the little lint dirt balls you know like you know the dirt in your hair is supposed to help your hair grow and stuff like that but baby it must have been like uh you know better it's time to get out so i ended up taking this one out in the corner and then last night i had put my bun in and you know like when you get them couple strands of hair and they really be bothering you like they pulling your hair or something out and i'm like i don't know it really felt like it was pulling my hair so i ended up taking this one out up here and i mean my hair is still pretty red it's up here. I just, you know, wrapped and tucked it in. But I'm about to use some of this instant control, edge control. I swear, this is the only one that works on my hair. And it looks just like this. Y'all, I was trying to get my nails done uh, this weekend. But she don't have time till next week. And like I said, we still trying to get our work schedules figured out and stuff. So I'm like, I really didn't want to make an appointment until... I knew that I had free time or, you know, like before work or something. So I still have on my yellow nails. It's going about three, like almost three weeks, I guess. Yeah, it's going about three weeks. I got them done before my birthday um, last month. So, ain't none of them broke, thank God, because baby, I know that it's painful. Yo, I got this big um, edge brush from the dollar store. If y'all was on my Snapchat probably like a couple weeks ago, baby, I got this. They even had the nerve to have some, uh, something else that I seen. Not for sure if I got it or not, because, I don't know, I'm just trying to brush my throat before I start doing the makeup look. Oh, what hell, that's my hair right there. What was I going to say? Y'all, I'm sorry about the angle. I'm just doing this in my bedroom because I'm like, I literally put like my mini ring light right here. But I got my dining room table today. It got delivered. And I didn't want to do the makeup on my dining room table just yet. But the other little table that I had, I moved it. Well, mystery man moved it into my, uh, what you call it, room. My little beauty room. But I'm like, I don't have that all the way set up in. I have my makeup right here because this is where I've been doing my makeup at. I was doing it at the, in the bathroom like one time, but then the sunlight was so beautiful in here because I have like a big open window right here. And it was just looking marvelous. Now this braid over here, or this fox, this fox, fox locks, I end up uh, putting some edge control and twisting it over. And baby, it was like I was twisting the dread and I was like, I'm kind of liking it. But I'm like, I ain't trying to get no dreads. But I'm going to end up taking um, this hair out pretty soon. Um, let me tell you this. Like, it's so crazy because it has been so 
freaking nice outside to the point where you don't even want to be at work or at home because you want to be out and about because it's so freaking nice. And then it started raining and then it started to go back and forth between the sun and the rain, rain and the sun. And this morning I woke up and let pellets outside. Baby, it was snowing. I said, what in the world? I'm about to use this uh, primer to put on my face. I literally just washed my face and I got to buy me some allergy medicine because every time like I wash my face and my, my eye stuff starts uh, tearing up and I usually don't even put primer on no more because it'd be killing my vibe, but it makes the makeup look good. So I'm just going to use a little bit. Uh, what's it going to say? maybe just a little bit more on my cheeks but yeah it was snowing outside and i was just like okay you know what i ain't had a day off of work in about three weeks like i only had one day off and i'm like i finally get a weekend off friday and saturday so i'm just like let me just take full advantage of this so pretty much after they set up my dining room table i went back to sleep and I was like, I'm going to stay asleep. I said, I'm ready to get up. And y'all, honestly, I have not recorded no videos. Like, I'm not even going to lie. People keep asking me, keep asking me. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to do it when I get off work. But literally, work has been taken over. Like, I've literally been staying late for work, for work meetings, staying. Because, you know, we need two people on shift. And there's only one. And I'm like, I just been, you know, doing what I should do for my job. You know what I mean? And plus, you know, my paycheck been looking pretty nice, baby. So I'm just coming out my eyebrows. Y'all, what do y'all think about uh, tinting your eyebrows? Like, I seriously been thinking about getting my eyebrows tinted. So I'm just like, you know, maybe that will, um, I don't know, you know, like, give me like, not like a, a normal a normal natural day look. I'm like, obviously I can have a lot of um, hyperpigmentation or whatever the word is on my face and stuff. So, you know, I'm like, I kind of be looking dull, but I'm like, I kind of be looking bright at the same time. You know what I mean? Like I be having my days. So I was thinking, okay, what if I just leave my eyebrows tint so I'm like, they kind of translucent like I tell y'all anyway. And then, you know, I'm like, I can just wear some, um, you know, I'm like, I can just wear some eyeshadow. I'm not eyeshadow, but I'm like, you know, my eyebrows will be tinted. I can do like a little um, foundation on my eyes, you know, like around this area. So that way it kind of blends in or not really foundation, but the other stuff, which I'll call the other stuff. Y'all, yeah, I'm going to just use some, some Kapoom. It looks like this. Um, before, I did go and get some of this. Which one did I use? Okay, since y'all see my hair was uh this color, I had got a lip liner pencil. Um, where did I get it from? You know what? I think I got it at the dollar store, and I just wanted to try something. But I'm like, I had did my uh, eyebrows in this color uh, for one video. I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but that's what it was. So I'm like, yeah, paychecks have been pretty nice for like the last two weeks. And I'm like, I hope I can keep it up. Because I'm just like, oh... And I ordered my rug for my living room. So, at least the living room and the dining room is going to be semi-complete, but not really. I still want to get my flat screen TV and put it on the wall. I need to go to, uh, I don't know if y'all been seeing it, but Steve Madden, I was like, I always said I needed a new purse because I've been carrying around my uh, Fortnite backpack with like my wallet and you know sometimes my ipad and stuff like that in it and i'm like i'm tired of carrying around that one unless i'm going to work you know but i'm just like if i'm not gonna take my ipad to work you know to um edit on my free time or whatever then i just need a regular purse palace oh okay so i'm like i just need a regular purse and i'm like i don't really go for name brand you know stuff or you know my Shoot, I could get a purse at Walmart and be happy. 
But I'm just like, I've been seeing these Steve Madden purses and I'm like, they looking pretty fire. Like it's not too big and it's not too small. So I'm like, I can put my phone, my charger, my wallet, some lip gloss, and you know, like uh, maybe like a tampon or two, or you know, something, you know, personal hygiene in there and be cool. So I'm just like, hmm. So I was like, tomorrow I'm gonna go to Marshall's and I'm gonna take y'all with me. I'm not for sure if this is gonna be a long vlog because I haven't did a weekly vlog this week and I'm just talking to y'all. So I'm just like, this will probably be a long video. So just bear with me. Y'all can take a couple days to watch it if you please to until you know I get my stuff together as always. But um but yeah, I was like, this purse is kind of cute. But then, oh, matter of fact, y'all want to see the purses so y'all can know what I'm talking about. Because every time they pop up on TikTok, I don't like them. So I'm just like, baby girl, do you know what I mean? Material girl. Okay, so this is the one. I really like this one. And, you know, this is not the original one, but I don't really like this one. Because a lot of Steve Madden purses are there, but they're not the ones that everybody's talking about. This green one's cute, but it's not for me. You know what I mean? So, I would take the first one because the first one's more like a, um, you know, a tote bag. I can really put my iPad in there, you know, going by my day. Shoot, if I knew who the girl was, girl, send me that one, like, ASAP. And so, then the other... Uh, Michael Kors bags. I mean, Steve Madden. Are these right here? They got the purple, the black. And I'm like, dead ass. Uh, I would probably buy the purple one and the black one. And I would uh, have to buy two of both colors because that lavender purple is pretty fire. And y'all know Mother's Day is coming up pretty soon so i would end up sending my mama the uh the purple one the little lavender and one and the black one and i would get myself the purple and the lavender i mean the lavender and the black one too and i'm like they're only like 30 dollars 25 dollars 30 dollars i've been seeing the price tags so we can go to marshall's tomorrow and see and also i would like to i still gotta do my sheen haul y'all I've been slacking, so I'm like, I'll probably do it after this and then just edit it and just uh, put it up and I'll like post it next week or something when I have more videos to contribute, you know, to give y'all like a full week. So I'm like, I done missed a whole month of um, April. And then I'm not for sure if I have to work on Easter, but... I mean, right now it's looking that we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to work on Easter, so while well, I have my day off, um, I'm about to cook my Easter dinner. And actually, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway. I'm not for sure what the giveaway is gonna be. Like honestly, like I haven't. Well, I'm keeping my hand. I haven't been promoting my merch like that, and. I've seen a couple comments where people said they're going to buy it. They're going to buy it. You know, I'm just like, you know, not saying that I don't believe y'all, but I'm not going to stress myself over it because I'm just like, I really did take the time and to talk to somebody and tell them how exactly how I wanted my logo. And I'm like, it's just the first time, you know, I'm just like, I only pay, you know, a little bit over $200 for that person's time and to do it because I'm like, they did draw it out. So, um... You know, I'm like, I don't pressure nobody. I'm just like, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose some. I'm like, that's just how the game go. And, you know, I'm like, you can't fault nobody, you know, for that. So, I want to do um, a giveaway. And uh, I'm going to post my giveaway rules. It's not even going to be rules. I'm literally just about to have y'all answer one question. And... I just want y'all to put y'all's answer in the post when I make it. And then I'm going to go back to that post. And whoever has the right answer, that's who's going to win the prize. And I'll probably just order y'all something from the merch. Um, shoot, I'll try to uh, 
shoot, if I get, you know, a couple of them Michael, uh, them Steve Madden purses, I'm like, you might get one of them. So I'm just like, I don't know. I'm like, I'm just talking for right now, but I do want to, uh, I do want to um, give back to y'all because I'm like, even though I'm like, I haven't been posting that much and, you know, when I do, it's not consistent and a lot of y'all still been rocking with me and I'm like, I appreciate y'all talking to me on uh, Instagram and Snapchat and stuff. You know, I'm like, shoot, we just like homegirls have just really been talking. I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like life has just completely changed. I don't know, some, some, it's like a little bit like I'm still into YouTube, but at the same time, I'm not, because I'm like, a lot of stuff has changed, and I'm like, yeah, I mean, a lot of stuff has just changed, and it's kind of like weird for me, and I'm just like, I really think it's because I'm like, I have a job, so I'm like, I have to make sure I'm on time from work, not only for the clients, but my coworkers. I'm just like, they got a life too, you know, and different stuff to do. So I'm like, I need to be on time. I need to make sure I do my job correctly, you know, giving away meds, making sure they have program, whatever I have to do to make their life easier, then that's what I need to do. And plus, I'm like, I have to provide for myself. I got to provide for Palace. I, you know, I'm like, I got to pay for my apartment, you know, like everything. So I'm just like, it's like I have time, but then again, I don't have time. And like I've been working eight to four for the past two weeks, but I've been staying to work later and covering more days. So it's just like, baby, I'll be up at six o'clock in the morning, showering, getting dressed, making sure palace is straight, go to work, do that, and then sit in a little traffic to go home. And then if I stay later after work, I'm like, baby, I'm ready to go home and eat and take a shower and go to bed. I might shoot, I might even pass out before I even take the damn shower, you know what I mean? So it's just, it's a lot going on, but it's just life, you know, life just changes. So I'm about to take my concealer, which I need to go get some more. It's CoverGirl in the color D700 Cappuccino. I ain't done this in a while, y'all. So, let me get my stuff ready. So that's what I've been on. Yeah, I want to try to make my eyebrow like a little arch or something. So this is literally what I've been doing. I've been arching my eyebrow with the concealer. And then I just go with the concealer all over and I put it down here. I've been trying to get close to my eyes as I can, but you know, my eyes are so freaking sensitive. And, um, what else I gonna say? Um, I don't know what else I was gonna say, y'all. I swear I do this stuff for different every time. This freaking eyebrow right here. Y'all see Pals back there playing. She was just asleep. I swear, when she sees these lights and this camera get on, she be trying to show out. I'm like, baby girl, what's going on? Um, they don't know what I was talking about. Okay, I already said the giveaway part. Oh, yeah. I'm about to cook. Uh, oh, that's what I'm going to say. Oh, so yeah, I'm gonna do the my Easter Sunday dinner probably on my day off or something because on my day off because I'm probably gonna have to work on um, Sunday somehow, regardless. You never know. Uh, I will announce my giveaway winner in that video, so I'm gonna have to obviously post the contest or whatever. 
uh, pretty soon. And yes, yeah, so I'm gonna uh, do it, but I'm like, um, I'm gonna be making some um, honey ham, some cornbread, uh, what else am I gonna make? Uh, some macaroni, some baked macaroni, because I just bought me a Pyrex. It was on sale at Target. And I'm going to, uh, I want to make some collard greens, but I'm like, I've never cooked, like, collard greens where I've had to cut them up. Like, I know how to cut them up and stuff like that, but I'm like, I don't know what to season them with or something. So, um, I'm going to buy a smoked, what was, what did it say on Walmart? Maybe y'all can tell me which one to uh, get real quick. Damn, my stomach hurts. Okay, so they got a smoked turkey wings. Or they got smoked turkey necks or smoked turkey tails. Now, to me, I probably would get the, uh, the turkey tails because they look kind of fat with like meat on it. And I want my greens to have some meat in it. You know what I mean? So, it's either turkey necks, turkey tails, or turkey necks. So, those are my three options to get. And I need to get the greens. So, I don't know if I should have them ordered or should I go to Walmart to go uh, look for myself and pick them up. But, I don't know. Maybe I'll just have them delivered since I'm paying for it anyway. Or I can just go pick it up when I'm at, uh, when I go to what you call it tomorrow. So those are my options uh, that I'm going to do. And since y'all said y'all wanted me to uh, start baking, my first baking video is going to be is going to be Easter related. So I think it's uh, cupcakes with confetti bunnies or something like that on it. I don't know. It was only a dollar at Walmart. And I'm like, I just snatched it up because I'm just like, okay, you know, start something out. Cause I'm like, I do not know how to, I mean, I never had to bake nothing that required me to, you know, do like two cups of flour, a pinch of salt, you know, and you know, whatever other ingredients go in that type of stuff. So that's something that I will be doing, but I need to start off slow. Cause for one, I don't, I don't, I don't have no mixing uh, bowls, which I know you don't have to have any mixing bowls, but. You know, like, I like to have all my kitchen essential stuff. You know what I mean? I don't got a blender yet. I don't got a, uh, I don't really need no mixer because I'm just like, I ain't no Betty Crocker. But that would be nice to have, you know, if I find one on sale or something. And I also want to start stepping out of the box with my cooking as, uh, like I said before, I think it was like sometime last year, like I hit up, like HelloFresh always send me, you know, like coupons and stuff like that. But I'm like, I might just go ahead and uh, buy one. But I was really trying to get sponsored by HelloFresh. So I'm just like, bro, that would be so perfect. Y'all going to send me what y'all want me to cook and I'm going to cook it. You know what I mean? Like when you got to cook on your own, like you kind of have to think what you want to cook. And then since I'm cooking to feed myself, it's got to be something that I want to eat at that time. So I'm like, I don't want to sit here and make no lamb chops and, you know, all this other stuff. And I don't even eat lamb chops. So I'm just like, that would be wasting my money to even buy lamb chops and I don't eat it. You know what I mean? Why don't you put this bowl? Girl, you got to go over there because you see my makeup right here. So I'm just like, that would be a waste of money for me to even buy lamb chops and I don't even eat them. I'm like, I know I can stare a chop, you know what I mean? But, <laughs> baby girl, let's be realistic. Y'all, I don't even know what I did with that spray. Palace, come on now, you got to get on. I love you, but come on. I thought I had some spray or, I thought I had my water spray in here so I could have, uh, smear this a little bit more because it's looking a little dry i need to go get another one actually because i'm almost running out 
That's really why I did no makeup while I come like hell. I keep forgetting to go get some more concealer. And I've been having this one for about two years, to be honest. When I first was the first one I bought, all the makeup videos I done did, baby, this is it. So a couple girls after a long time. And I'm just like, I'm starting to use more now because I'm like, I'm starting to put it more under my eyes and not just using it for, to, uh, I'm not just using it just to, uh, outline my eye or my eyebrow or whatever you want to call it i'm starting to put it all over so that way you can see it and why every time i want to do my makeup it always wants to be a fucking eye booger somewhere like come on bro and see that's how i start to freaking eyes water and all types of stuff And y'all, I was gonna do a uh, a clean with me video with y'all, but y'all gonna have to wait because we literally went to the store, bought the cleaning supplies, and I was at work, and I came home to find mystery man freaking cleaning my kitchen up, like he was cleaning the kitchen, he didn't vacuum the floor, like he didn't did everything. He was like, oh, I just want to do something special for you, you know, surprise you, whatever. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And, you know, Pella just jumps, jumping around, doing her little thing. And I'm just like, dang, you should have, uh, so I left my iPad here. So I was like, dang, you should have, uh, recorded yourself. He was like, I won't even think. And I was like, you don't have to show your face, you know, it's just, you know, just show you cleaning up. So let's see if I can try to make the eyebrow with like a little arch or something, because tired of my eyebrows looking freaking straight <laughs> so i was like dang but that was pretty nice of him so yeah we're going to wait on that clean with me video You know, I think I should get me a, um, maybe like a pencil, because this one has more of an arch than that one. Y'all, and I hate when I start to do, like, live videos or videos like this, and all of a sudden I just start getting congested. I'm like, what the world? Okay, maybe I can do it like this. Yeah, so me and Palace have been home just chilling. Like, I've really been asleep all day, except for when they came to set my table up. And I ain't mad at it either. Okay, that looks a lot better. And, um... But, I mean, what have y'all been doing, though, for real, though? I mean, how has y'all's week been? Because my week has been freaking lovely. I mean, work has been going good. Paycheck has came out real good. So, I mean, I was able to um, do some stuff. I feel like I'm about to start getting back on track with everything. And I don't even know. Um, Y'all, yeah, I think I might try to go for a simple look since I always do colors. And I don't know. Either I can go with my Juvia's palette from this one. Do like a little natural color. Ooh, I know y'all hear my stomach. Talk about my stomach hurting. Or I can go for like a little pink color. You know what? I, you know what? I'm gonna mix these. So I think I'm gonna take maybe like 
this pink or something, and then I'm gonna try to smoke it out. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to smoke it out. I don't think I've never tried to smoke an eye out, but baby, we're gonna try today. So tap it, brush it on it like that, tap it. Smile, mama. Well, at least she was still. And, um, yeah, damn, my stomach hurt for real, though, bro. Yeah, I'm not a professional when it comes to this makeup stuff, but I do like to try. Um, I really want to get my uh, 420 nails done, but I'm like, I'm not even sure what I want to get done. So I told her either I want like a 420 set or I'm going to just end up having to just go with like, uh, you know, a freestyle set that I see online or something. And I don't know, usually I be having my nail ideas up on game, but I'm like, for some reason, I want a little bit of everything. And I'm just like, I haven't found that one picture that I can be like, yep. This is it. So I really want to do my 420 makeup. So here's what I want to do. I want to do like a little green look with uh, the Bob Marley colors, you know, the green, red, and yellow. Yeah, I think it's green, red, and yellow. Yeah, I wanted to do that. And then I wanted to buy like some little 420 uh, leaf stickers and just put them like on my I lid right here and so that way when I bring the colors up I can just go like this back and forth and then when I take the stickers off with my tweezers you will see like the little the little leaves right there so I'm like I still might do it we're just gonna have to see but I'm like I wanted my nails to be you know in theme so I'm like I, you know I'm like dang my baby girl and we don't have any what you call it here any edible shops or nothing so i was like i might have to bake my own edibles or something or actually i got a a cartridge but i don't have the freaking pen so i'm like i could have been you know getting lit with y'all while we was doing this little makeup look you know what i mean so i'm gonna try to get that to y'all before uh, before 420 gets here. So hopefully I can post it on 420. You know what I mean? Because it's Mr. Green Bean. Y'all, do y'all know anybody's birthday who's on 420? Um, Jay's son's birthday is on 420. <laughs> Hush, girl! I swear, palettes just be yelling at everything. There's people washing clothes. Because remember, I told y'all that my apartment is downstairs, like in a basement <laughs> type area. And they be down here washing clothes. That's all it is. But do y'all hear that? Silence, baby. You don't hear nothing but them birds chirping. That is the freedom of living at home, solo bolo. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hope I really do like this pink because I'm like, it's looking cool, but I'm not a pink type of person. Oh, yeah, I did have on my night shirt. Oh, I left it in the bathroom. I did have on my night shirt. But I'm like, I didn't want to get it dirty with the makeup and stuff. So I'm like, I just put on this random um, dress that I got from Rainbows last year. Oh, yeah. We're going to go to Rainbows, too, because I know they got some good stuff. I've been on Rainbows' website, you know, just looking. Y'all know. That's how baby girl got started with the Rainbows haul. 
We can't forget where we came from, right? Cannot forget where we came from. We came from Rainbow Call with the taser. We came from the couple's channel. You know, plus size Shay and Disabled J. You know what I mean? So, baby, don't forget where you came from. You know what I mean? Let's see if I try to smoke it out a little bit. I think I'm gonna use this darker one right here. I don't even think, uh, no. But I said they don't even tell the colors of the, on the palette. You know what? I need to look at more Juvia's palettes. So I'm like, I do have a lot, but um, I wanted to go to, I should have bought a long time ago. I think it's called Jake Markups, Markups or something like that. And, oh yeah, this is about to set it off right here. Uh, he had a color palette that I wanted and I said I was gonna get it, but I'm like, I never did get it. But I'm like, maybe I should go back and get it. Palace girl, your coat is looking pretty shiny. And you know what? Y'all, her Easter dress is not available no more. So I found another one, but I don't think it has Easter on it. It just looks like a really pretty dress to me. So I'm like, I'm going to get her that one. And not this, not this week, but... Maybe next week we can go to uh, Petcon, pick out her some new toys so she can have an Easter basket. Because Palace needs some new toys. What do y'all think about that? I kind of feel like I put a little too much... Uh, She was looking around. Why are you in the makeup box, girl? I kind of feel like I put a little too much of the dark around my eyes, but let's just go back in and tap in with that pink color. Highlight glow back. I mean, I guess. You know, I'm going to start having, like, a makeup video at least, like, once a week or something. Because it'd be, like, some looks on here that, that I want to do. But I'm just, like, I'm not for sure if I can do it. Because I'm, like, I don't know if I have all the stuff. Which one is this one? You know what? I thought I had some, um... No, this is this palette. But I'm like, I thought that I had some, uh, see, that's what I need. I need to order a green palette or a multi palette because, um, I don't know. I guess when I use Juvia's palette, like I only want to use Juvia palettes, uh, products only when I'm doing like my makeup face. What the hell is that? I know I got no bump on my face. Oh. 
Um, um, which one I want to use? Let me just go in for this little like glam one. I might put it on my corner. I might put it on top of the pink. But I'm just like I would rather just use one product brand the whole time and not mix them. But I'm like if I do my 420 look, I'm probably gonna have to mix them because I'm like I don't have. Uh, I think I have a green, but I'm like I'm not for sure. And Julia's palette probably. Did that even do anything? Oh, there you go. I mean, it's giving a little bit. But you know, some colors and stuff just don't, products just don't mix well. So that's another reason why I say that. I don't know about this color because I'm like, it's like it's showing up, but it's not. I think I was looking for more of like a a white cream type of color, maybe. I don't know. We just ain't going to do that one more than that. Okay, since the eye is pretty much done... Let's get into the foundation, and then we're going to do our uh, eyelashes. So, before, I was using CoverGirl D90, and it was too dark. And I'm like, once I look at my old videos, I'm like, damn, girl, your foundation is pretty dark. But now I use CoverGirl D80 in the color matte, and it's a perfect freaking blend now. So, I just put it on top of my little cap right here. And then I just take my sponge and go around like this. I can, you can see I do have a lot of um, fall off. But what y'all doing for um for Easter though? Do people well, I know people still go to church and you know stuff like that, but are y'all back into the swing of things? Since they really, you know, talk about COVID is over. Do y'all go to church and go to uh do like the Easter egg hunts and you know, go to, you know, the dinners and stuff afterwards, or do y'all kind of just like do y'all's own Easter things at home. Let me know. Lord, either I must be hungry or my stomach is upset. Oh, y'all, and I finally bought all the ingredients to make the um, egg boil. So I said I'm going to take my... Um, you know, it's just really just, you know, eggs and, you know, the sauce and onions and stuff. But I'm like, shoot, if I'm going to go ahead and, you know, do the egg boil, I might as well go and pull out me some scrimps. And I'm going to pull them out tonight, let them defrost in the refrigerator and uh, clean them. Because I'm like, I did buy some. And I got me some hot links. And what else? Oh, I'm not for sure if I have any uh, noodles or not, but I mean, I would like to try the noodles and the sauce because I'm like, usually like when we go to, uh, well, when I go to a seafood place, um, I usually either get garlic noodles on the side or I would get, either I would get garlic noodles on the side or I would just get rice to use with the sauce. But I'm like, I've seen, I've been seeing a lot of people cook ramen noodles and take it with them or whatever. So, or, you know, just regular noodles. So I think that's something that I would like to try. I know I'm probably behind on these little trends or whatever, but as y'all know, when you go on YouTube, don't compare nobody to nobody because I'm just like, it's just like, how can you really compare yourself to somebody else or vice versa when literally all everybody on YouTube 
is we make the same content. You hear me? We all make the same content, but it's just a different person and we just put our own spin on it. You know what I mean? Like how many times has Beloved made seafood, a seafood boil, eating chicken wings? And before, before I even knew who she was, Jasper was the king of seafood mukbangs. But unfortunately, a couple years ago, he did pass away. Um, I don't know if y'all know who he is, but I'm like, that's when I really started watching YouTube was because of him and, uh, you know, a few other people. Uh, uh, Jasper, I think his name was Hayes or maybe, I don't know. But his name is Jasper. If you look him up on Seafood Bull, Jasper, his videos still come up. Rest in peace to him. I'm like, that's how, you know, I knew about seafood. You know, it's when the seafood bulls, you know, was coming out. But I'm like, he been, was doing them. So, that's how I knew of them. And I'm just like, shoot, he used to do them all the time. And I mean, he used to, you know, cook big and, you know, do, uh, Big stuff, you know what I mean? So, I'm like, shoot, if honestly, I think he still holds the fucking title. So, I'm like, we all, you know, we all just do the same thing. It's just a different name and a different spin on it. So, I'm like, y'all might like the way somebody else do their cooking videos than how I do my cooking videos. You know what I mean, you know? I'm talking about, you know, they might be trying to get the perfect video, but me, I'm going to just cook the way I want to cook. And if I mess up or if I go back and watch my video and tell y'all, like, damn, I should have seasoned that a little bit more or it didn't taste right. Or, you know, if it was too salty or something like that, I'm going to tell y'all and let y'all know. I'm talking about just everybody is not perfect on here. And I'm just like, we don't do things perfect. I'm like, that's the whole point of editing. But I'm like, you want to keep it real with yourself and, you know, leave that type of stuff in there. You're like, damn, I did fuck up, you know what I mean? But, baby girl, we still made it happen. We still made it pop. Y'all, I still got this. I got it for my birthday. It's clean. It's by Avon. It is a makeup tote. And I've been having my makeup in here ever since. Y'all, uh, matter of fact, wait, see who this is. Matter of fact, if you, okay, if you have some eyelashes, please give me so I can see them. Because I'm like, I really need to re-up on my lashes. Like, I really just got empty pretty cases and there's no eyelashes in them. And I'm like, I get to want to put some eyelashes on and it ain't freaking none in here. Here go another pretty case, ain't nothing in here. Here go another one. I'm like, I gotta save these. Don't want to put these on. You know what? I will put these on because I'm just like, I feel like I'm being a little drastic right now. So, with the purple and stuff, so let's go ahead and put this on in here. I think I actually had nothing in that box. Oh, I did get these from uh. The dollar store maybe like a couple weeks ago. I still ain't put them on. And y'all, I had sent Mystery Man to the beauty spot for a couple weeks ago, like when my leg was uh out of commission. I told him to bring me some edge control back. And he brought this big ass thing back. And I'm like, Whoa. I mean, how much did you think I really needed? But I told him to give me wispy and he brought back these. I mean, they cool, but the lash band is too thin and I could hear him on the phone. And he was like, no, 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 I don't like that. I don't think my girl's gonna like them. You know, we got to find something else. So, you know how, what you call them, damn near. How much was that you want to They don't even say on the pack, but you know how when you go to a beauty spot store and you be seeing like the, like the little thin ones be like hella price, but then the thick ones be, you know, like kind of cheaper. Now, I know I just had the freaking witch call right here. Oh, shoot. 
the eyelash glue right here. Hold on, y'all. Technical difficulties. Right, so I literally thought I just had the eyelash and everything out and ready. Okay, so I know I just had some freaking tweezers. Oh, here they go. Okay, let me try to fix it back up so, I can, so y'all can see me. Kinda. Okay, you have to stay right there for a second. Y'all forgot who these eyelashes are by, but if you go to like one of my first, first makeup videos, and this is before I even knew how to do makeup, um, I tried to do like a little rainbow look or something on my eyelashes, and I had on the purple hair, and y'all, I look like a straight clown, but I'm like, I tried, so I'm like, if you go back and look at them to like nowadays, you like, baby girl, YouTube taught you something. Y'all taught me something. Remember, I used to do makeup on my live videos, and y'all be like, damn, she did that. Baby, because it's all because of y'all. Y'all taught me the game. Yeah, y'all definitely taught me the game. Y'all, I think I probably just posted this video today because I'm like, I didn't go live, and I'm like, uh, I kind of wanted to do my makeup before. I got on there because I'm like, otherwise y'all probably would have kept me on there, like, all night long. And I'm like, my stomach's just growling. I'm like, I ain't eating nothing all day. So I'm like, I literally been sleeping. I'm like, I only woke up to fit palace. And, okay, so I put the glue on the eyelash. I'm going to just keep the eyelash right here. Oh, you know why I didn't wear these eyelashes? Damn. It was either these, I think. Because I don't wear these eyelashes so much that uh, one of them is curling the wrong way. Like they're going sideways because you know how they fit in the box. And I wanted, and I tried to use my uh, eyelash crimper, but I'm just like, the eyelashes is too big and too long to go in there. So me being a person who looks on TikTok and everything else. I was like, Shay, just go in there and get your flat iron and try to flat iron the eyelashes and just curl them up. It's hair, right? Wrong. They didn't burn, but them like the motherfuckers didn't curl either. So yeah, so I had to throw some other ones away. You know how to test some other ones out first. And then the eyelashes I did have uh oh yeah the ones i had on my birthday live i ended up taking them off and leaving them in them in the kitchen instead of putting them back in the box where they go so i just ended up throwing them away so i'm just like shoot ain't no telling what's on them now you know they've been exposed to air and everything else um i don't really have like too much of a cooking cooking video today but i guess i'm about to um I don't know, you know, they'll do something like real simple. So I bought some popcorn, chicken, I got mashed potatoes, I got uh, canned corn and cheese and uh, some gravy. So I think I'm just about to make my own KFC bowls. You know what I mean? Like I don't really eat KFC. I'll eat their uh, coleslaw and mashed potatoes and their chicken wings, but nothing else. So I was just like, you know what? I can just make my own little KFC bowl at home. And that's what I'm going to do. So stay tuned for that little KFC bowl um, video. So I'm just like, what is that? Five ingredients, popcorn, chicken, cheese, gravy, mashed potatoes, and corn. Five ingredient dinner. Easy. It shouldn't take you no more than what? We're going to say 30 minutes or less, but I'm like probably going to be like 15 minutes or less because I'm really just going to pop the popcorn inside the oven, the popcorn chicken inside the oven. I'm using instant mashed potatoes, so it ain't gonna take that long. Oh my. You know what? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that because I don't got no freaking milk. 
I was, y'all see me looking on Walmart. So that's why I knew I was like, I need some milk. I wanted to get the stuff for the collard greens. I'm just gonna like, dang, I'm like, I know I'm missing something, but <sighs> shoot. I don't know. I might have to run out and go get some milk or something. Because, what the hell? Yeah, but I am going to cook that because I'm like, that's something easy. And it shouldn't take that long to cook anyway. Otherwise, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But hold on, y'all. I'm going to come right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Let me put my... Eyelashes on real quick. I say it should be dry by now. But what y'all got planned for this weekend? Okay, makeup looking kind of decent. Oh, I'm about to say, damn, why my hair look hella big right here? But this mirror is like either like hella close or not, you know what I mean? Or it's like hella far away. <laughs> I say, damn, look at her being nosy. I can bring that bag in here for you. Put the eyelashes on. Please don't make no mistake because I'm going to have time for the makeup to be messed up. Yeah, I must have used these. Last time I used these eyelashes, probably on another live video because this one got a. Uh, some of them little sparkles on it. Okay, this one not like you want to stick, but then it don't act like you gonna want to stick. I want you to get into formation. Don't play with me. Play with your bitch. That's how you gotta tell them my lashes. So don't play with me. Play with your bitch. Palace like mom. Palace, right here. Come here. Come here. I thought she was gonna jump up there. Right here, mama. Right here. Or you want to go to the other side? Right here. Other side. Never mind, y'all. She's trying to, Oh, where she go? You want to say hey? Okay, well, maybe not. She don't want to get up that high, I guess. <clears throat> sucky, sucky now. Shay Bay looking like something. Y'all, this white color be killing me with these eyes water and child. I know it's allergy season, but damn, you ain't even been outside today. Like, what's the problem? Go fix it. What they say on TikTok, stand up. Stand up. Dang, why are you just watering so much? Hope I didn't scare y'all about being loud. Could I ask Pell, did I scare you or not? No, you need no pump. Yeah, I know. Cause you a G like your mama. Cause you a G like your mammy, girl. Okay, okay. We getting somewhere. I don't know, like the eyelashes are dry, but then at the same time they not dry. I'm just like, 
I don't know why y'all don't want to perform. See, this is what I'm talking about. Exactly what I'm talking about. What well, can't put my powder on yet? We was going to have a real problem. So we can just wipe that up right here. Oh, you know what? I'm not even going to do it this time around because I'm like, I really do not want to mess my uh, makeup up for real, for real. But I was just like, maybe what if I put like a little bucket? We going in. Move we'll back, baby. Move back, baby. Move back, baby. Move back, baby. I was just gonna be like, we ain't doing it, but we might just do it. Just get into it. As y'all can see, I've never used this uh, brush before. Okay. So we're gonna take that pink that we was talking about right here, right here, and Get a little dab a doo on that. A dab a doo, a dab a doo, tap, 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 dab a doo, dab a doo, tap, tap, tap. And let's see if we can put some under here. Y'all, I ain't never done this before. So I'm like, if I'm not doing it right, please let me know. I'm just trying to, you know, just do a little something, something. Maybe this will help when I can't get all the uh, foundation and um, concealer right there. As y'all should know, I do not use uh, eyeliner or mascara on my eyelash to come just like my eyes already water. I'm like, that's probably too much uh, little smells and fumes and stuff already. And plus, I'm scared I'm going to poke myself in the damn eye. Sure, I'm already nervous doing this part. I mean, it's looking like a little something, I guess. I mean, can you tell the difference? Yeah, I thought so. Because, you know, like, I would love to put some of that black stuff, you know, on my waterline. But, baby, I'd be over here crying over a damn river. Okay, I think I'm going to stop right here because this eye is about to start watering a little too much and it's already making a little, uh, a little thing right there telling me to stop, Shea Bay. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, now I'm going to take... Um, this brush don't got no name on it. It just says BS Mall. Like I said, it's the... What you call it? But I'm gonna take my Cover Girl um, loose mineral powder, and the color is 500 Deep, cause you know I'm a deep ass girl who got a deep ass skin complexion, who's just a girl who goes around the world. You know, I know some people probably use this, but I don't. I literally just get it and then like shake some of it out, or like I usually just you know shake it out like that, or I just put it in my hand and just dump it. So this is what you're gonna do. Shoot a month. Well, no, I still got enough in here, but I'm gonna get some more. Matter of fact, let me just do it that way. Sprinkle that on in there like some uh cinnamon toast crunch pata. And we come up with this right here. So take it. Tap the excess in there, and then we're gonna get that smooth glow all over your skin. Get that forehead, because we're gonna rub it all in. So this is the end of my makeup look. 
Bebeng. Bebeng. To the nine of five. Oh, oh. Well, make sure I get every thing. Whoa. Okay, pour the rest of that powder back in there. <laughs> Y'all, I really gotta start doing makeup in my room. Cause I really have a white, uh, a white, what you call it right here. And baby, it's so much freaking powder and foundation right here. Like I got to clean this up. That'll probably be my task for tonight. Is to clean that up. All right, let's find some lip gloss real quick. Trash everything. Or, um, is this? Oh man, I could have used my Bella Scope pencil. Let me put that one in there. See, that's why I had to go get this box. Bella, baby, hit me up because we need some more. Um, we need some more stuff. Y'all, and I'm like, I should be promoting her stuff like I should be because I am a brand ambassador for her. And matter of fact, my makeup uh, look is going to be using her products because I should have been on my A game. Watch somebody bought me this for my birthday. Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. I can't say no names, but thank you, girl. Appreciate you, little mama. Bro. Out of all the freaking lip glosses I got in the world, I cannot find one. Let me check them up. Nope. You know, like they say, you know, uh, I'm going to be right back. Watch my baby. I'm going to be right back. Y'all watch Palace. Palace, stay there. Mom, they going to watch you. Thank y'all for watching her, even though she did just follow me. See, y'all know I keep my $2 lip gloss from the beauty spot store on me. And I'm not for sure who this one's from, but let's put some sparkle in your girl life. It smells good too, though. Well, you know what? Forget it. Let's just use this one, I guess. Mm -hmm. I like to shine. It smells like... It smells like it could have, like, some, um... 
I know it ain't got no coconut in here, but I'm like, it kind of smells like it. And it smells a little fruity. Not that uh, smelly fruity, but a good fruity. Mmm. Material girl. Yeah, this one needs to go in a bag. So I usually do not use um, a setting spray, but I am today. So here is my photo finish primer water setting finish spray by Smashbox. Okay. Oh, get on palace. I gotta show them something. So y'all know that I was gonna do like a um a hair video by doing like different hairstyles or whatever, but as y'all can see, I'm gonna post a picture right here on my birthday. My little uh my little two space buns, baby girl, it was lit. But my hair hurts. I don't know, like it's just like pulling my hair, like I'm ready to take it down. Like this one's already coming out. I had to pin a little back piece but right here and I'm just like my edges is turning uh blonde and I'm just like now you see the hair product and I'm just like if you look closely I hate to show y'all this but you know I keep it real if you look closely you can start to see like the dirt and the lint in my new growth and baby that ain't cute I'm like I got to take it out so y'all I had so much hair left over but y'all were asking me what brand is my hair and stuff like that so i'm about to show y'all so this is the brand of my hair um uh, this by may d brand beauty 3x and this one actually had a lot of hair in there uh so she didn't even need that many packs um it's got three times more hair in it than the usual ones so make sure y'all get this one that one right here um she used a crochet needle and it's in the color burgundy. They even tell the color on here. This is 20 inches. They do come in like 30, but I'm like, I thought 30 was going to be too long for me since I'm already short. And plus I wasn't uh, for sure if these was going to be heavy. People said they're not heavy. And I was like, dang girl, like I know this got a weight on you. And then I got some, uh oh. Well, I don't think I have the package, but this is Marley Twist Hair. Marley Twist Hair. So basically what you do is you're going to want to box braid all your hair up, you know, in singles. And then you're going to uh, take one of these at the roots. As you can see, it has a little hole right here for you to go through right here. You're just going to open a little bit, put your crochet needle through it. And then you're going to put it through the root of your braid. And then you're going to take the Marley Twist hair and you're just going to twist it all the way down till it gets at the end of your hair. And then the rest of it should just be the rest of the Fox Locks hair. So, yes, that is the brand of the hair and everything. Uh, I guess since I got my makeup done, then... I should probably get on to go do my other videos while I'm still looking cute. So, like I said, if y'all see this makeup look in more than one video, mind your business because you want these videos and Shea Bay don't be having the time to give them to you. I'm not for sure. Ugh. Oh, I don't know why I want to keep putting some more air control in here, but maybe just a little bit more. But I'm like, yeah, y'all want these videos, I'm going to have to do what I have to do. You know, I'm like, I don't got time, you know, to be doing everything. But yeah, I'm just going to post this video right now to give y'all something to watch on y'all's weekend. And we're going to go to... Okay, so tomorrow we're going to try to go to Marshall's to see about the Steve Madden purses. Or even if I find like a really cute purse, I might as well just go ahead and get it. Um, we're probably going to stop by Rainbows just to see what they have. I'm just like, for some reason, I'm like, I want to try on these clothes, but I'm like, it's really not giving it to me because it's dark outside and I'm like, it's been raining. So I'm just like, why do I need to post a video and it's raining outside? That's not giving me spring. It's not giving me summer. Like I was supposed to been posted that video 
on spring break and I'm just like, it's freaking raining. Like, I don't know. It's like giving me, girl, what you showing me this for? And I can't even go outside and wear it. What am I supposed to do? Wear it in the house? Yeah. Oh, we're just going to move that bit. It's giving me that type of a vibe. But I'm going to go ahead and do it. Um, should I have a mystery man uh, rate my outfits? You know, tell me how he likes them. Or should I just do the video straight by itself? Because I went through my clothes and I opened all of them out. And I'm just like, they are really cute, simple, and... I can just knock them out because remember I told y'all that I was going to break them down in half. But I'm just like, I don't know, I may. So I'm just like, if I do break them down, it's going to be five outfits in one video and five outfits in another one. So should I do it that way or just show y'all all 10 dresses before uh, they be out of stock? Which is usually how it works anyway. But, baby girl. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. Makeup, hair. Let me get a close-up. Um, if y'all have any makeup looks that y'all want me to, like, try to do or see, then just DM me. And I'm going to try to do the best I can to um, do them. Yeah, I'm trying to tell y'all. Girl. But um, for some reason, I thought about it. I'm like, if I go ahead and take my hair down, wash it, everything else, um, I kind of want to get a... Well, at first I did want to get like a sew-in, you know, so it can last, you know, a minute. But then I'm just like, I'm trying to get back into hair reviews and everything else. I'm trying to, you know, really quit playing with my freaking YouTube life and get my shit together. Like, Shay, get your shit together. I'm tired of playing with you. I'm tired of looking for a freaking YouTube video and you ain't got none. Like, I'm over it. I'm done. Like, come on now. I hit you up on Instagram. I hit you up on Snapchat and you, you, you just be playing games with me. Like, I need to see the video, the cooking video. I need to see the try on half. I need to see a vlog. Man, I need to see if you sleeping or or what Palace is doing. Like, I need to see all that. Stop playing with my emotions. And I used to be like, hmm. Okay, I'm going to stop playing. I'm going to get it good. Okay, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. That's how I be feeling. Like, that's a little, because I need a pep talk with myself. You know what I mean? So, I was kind of thinking if I take this out, then I would want to kind of get me, um, a uh, short quick weave bob so basically i want it to be like kind of like a, a 27 piece like on the side and on the back you know so where it's like it's real smooth but then when it comes to the bang i want my part right here on the left side and i want like some big ass feathered bang that go across my eye so if i wanted to do like my makeup or you know if i ain't got time i can only put on one eyelash and do one eyebrow and y'all think that <laughs> baby girl did a full face this morning so you know i'm like i'm trying to you know, I'm trying to step out my little box for a second you know second you know what i mean so that's what i'm kind of going for you know what i mean so i'm like i might just wait on that little video or i might have to do it with the uh rainbow tall if i see one but that's what i'm trying to do you hear me palace come here come here mama come here oh excuse me i know y'all hear me baby come here baby i know y'all seen all that stuff Come on, we ain't ready to jump down here. This is the only way she gonna get in the video, y'all. Okay. Okay. Mama, tell them bye. Say bye. Say see you next time. Y'all, they said I can bring Palace to work sometimes. And baby, she gonna get a haircut. She gonna get her nails done. She gonna put on a little pretty outfit. And baby, we can go to work. And I'll be like, Palace, go check on them. Go tell them clean their room. And they better not drop no food on the floor for her to eat it either. It's like, yes, y'all can if y'all would like to. Y'all are sharing. Okay. This is me and Palace. We out. See you later, Gator.